Hey guys, my name is Jason, and in today's video, we're gonna be installing an automatic chicken coop door on my portable chicken coop. But first, we need to feed all our animals this morning, and then we get to start on this fun project. All right, guys, good morning. We're just starting our day today. Uh, let's check on our baby chickens, new chickens, new turkeys, new geese. Cement blocks here, just in case. So hopefully it'll prevent, you know, some something to get underneath this thing. Yeah, they got plenty of water. That little guy didn't make it. How are the chicken nuggets doing? They look good. It's supposed to get warm today. We're talking in the 90s today. You know what these kitty pulls are for? Yeah, I gotta, we gotta give these to our two pigs later on today when it gets super hot. Hi, Bernice. Oh, she got poop on her back. Who does? Oh, she does. That's bad. Actually, I feel kind of tired today. I'm just trying to get through the chores here. You know, some days are like that, you know? Some days you're just like, man, I don't really feel like going out there. It's okay, it's okay to feel that way. You know, you still have to do it. Maybe I need to wake up earlier, have my coffee and then chores. Back in there, back in there. We just moved these guys to a bigger paddock yesterday. I still need to keep that lane so they can have access to their water. After you. Come out, there we go. So they have not flipped the new mineral feeder over yet. I kind of thought that they would flip it. Uh, they definitely do kind of move it around with their nose. I'm glad that they use it and they caught on to it pretty quick. Little brother's using it too. You know what's kind of neat is that they haven't mooed at me in a while. It's been, it's been at least a couple weeks. So now I need to fill up some feed buckets. Okay, so I've been putting it off and putting it off. I know we should not leave this bag of feed exposed like this, but we need to shovel this feed into barrels. Mice are probably getting into it, I imagine, because, you know, I don't know. Why wouldn't they? So I just found out from my neighbor, these lights in this barn have not been turned on in over 20 years. So that's why a lot of them are not working, I imagine. I need to fix this shade structure here. It's not very ideal. It's just, this is really just a temporary thing until I can get to it. We have some half inch pipe here and it's just pipe just laying in the yard. It falls down like the weight of the fabric. I'm just using these half inch EMT conduit clip things and the pipe's gonna go in there. We're waiting till the end of the month to put them back together. I'm still in hopes that she's pregnant, but I don't know. I don't think she is. Jacuzzi time. Jacuzzi time, pig. Yeah. <laughs> Get in there. Don't worry, Zeke, I got one for you too. A 
A few years ago, I installed an automatic chicken coop door on this chicken tractor. Hey, Freddy, I'm talking. Then I built a chicken coop. Then I built a chicken coop and I used that door on the chicken coop. And then we moved and I left that automatic door with the chicken coop. So ever since we've been living here about four or five months on our new land, we've had to close our chicken coop the old fashioned way. You know, with your hands. Freddy, come on. An automatic chicken coop door is one of those things where you don't think you need it until you have it. Omelette sent us an automatic chicken coop door. Control panel, this is the door and it opens up this way rather than out like my old one did. Came with this book, I mean, look at all these directions, settings that you can look at. Even came with a coupe light we gotta install and this wire mesh install kit. And basically it's just pieces of wood because I'm gonna install it on this wire mesh here. And we're gonna unhook this. I think I want the door to be able to still open in case I need to go in there for any reason. And so I'm thinking I'm gonna mount it right there. Omelette also has their own version of a chicken coop or chicken tractor called the Igloo, which you can mount that on also. You can also mount this on wood and then mesh like how we're doing today. One thing that drew me to the Omelette automatic chicken coop door is their packaging. I'm a sucker for cool packaging and modern looking things. Um, the omelet definitely looks modern and simple and minimal. First I'm going to mark out where I need to cut out a hole for the door. And then I take my tin snips and then cut a square. You sandwich the hardware cloth between the wood frame and the front door frame. And then you use these long screws that it comes with and then you screw them in tight. It comes with these wing nuts that you just screw on there. Very simple. Seems like it's very minimal tools. You can then use your drill gun, hold it on the other side or you could just use a screwdriver. This door is not solar powered and it doesn't need a big battery. All it takes is four AA batteries and these batteries should last about six months. They make it really easy for you here. Here it says a plug in here and this is, it actually says coop light. And then another plug in here that says coop door. So there's no question that this light, we need to plug it in right there. And then you run it on the, underneath here so it doesn't get it gets out of the elements and then you plug the door on the other side and then we close it up so this is the control panel that's the sensor the sensor needs to be exposed to the daylight so it can't be like inside the coop so i'm gonna mount it on the outside so that way the sun can hit it and it could sensor when it's light and dark that means i'm gonna run the light from the inside and have it go up and then we'll plug that in here. This is a weather tight seal. This is the mounting bracket to mount that sensor and control panel. You're supposed to do this part before you install the door. That gear right there I just installed, that is what spins. And then it, this door has the teeth, and so I think when it turns on, it grabs that teeth and it slides it over. All right, so apparently you can't put on the door after you install the door frame. So now I gotta take the door off and then install the sliding part of the door. You screw in these little plastic pieces to go in the back and that holds the door in place.
we install the light here and then we're gonna close it and we can lock it there like that and then there it is <laughs> Freddy Freddy doesn't know what to think over there right now it's set for light which means it's gonna close when it gets dark and open when it gets light you could also set this thing for the time like on a specific time you could have it close or open then you press that OK button it even tells you how much battery life you have here we have hundred percent and then we're gonna wait till it gets dark here and see if it closes and then in the morning We'll see if it opens. Come on, Mary, get in there, hurry. <laughs> so it looks like I need to adjust that setting because I still have two stragglers out here. One thing about these automatic doors, you need to monitor it the first you know, few nights. But after that, once it gets dialed in, that's it. I mean, it, it works really well. Six thirty in the morning. Maybe I set it for a little bit earlier than six thirty, but it worked. Look at that. This automatic door is going to help us be more efficient on our farm. Our chickens are now pretty much self-contained. They're they're self-sufficient. So I'm a chicken. So it just opens up automatically if something's in the way there, and then it closes up. To see if I can open it up. I, like you can't even open it up; it locks in place. This is it, guys. This is the future right here. We are living in the future when they have automatic chicken coop doors. <laughs> if you're interested in this automatic coop door from Omelet, I'll leave the link down below. And also, I got you guys a 10% off link, so you can check that down below if you want to get one for yourself. But overall, pretty easy to put in. I mean, all the directions are really helpful. This seems a little bit more streamlined. I, th I thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.